Now, there's concerned, uh, rather concerted effort within Gauteng to upgrade the road network, but those upgrades will not be paid for by the controversial eToll systems. Premier Panyazali Sufi has confirmed a process is currently underway to officially disable the eToll gantries, and he says more funds will be allocated to paving the dirt roads. Now, he was delivering his state of the province address. Together with national government, we are on the verge of agreeing on all matters that will finally allow us to cassette the switching off of the countries, but most importantly, to agree on the debt repayment methods and money collected from paying customers, as well as funds not collected from non-paying customers. We are of the strong view this chapter, this part of history in our province will now be finally buried and will continue with our lives without each of in this place. As the generation that grew up in dusty streets of our townships, we cannot let our next generation to choke on the same unpaved streets due to continued failure of government to catalyze development. Over the past few months, we have engaged all our municipalities and all except Tuan and Jobek have agreed to partner with us through a memorandum of understanding so that all major untied or dusty roads that are main roads in all our township as this government will take them over and tar them in our communities.